250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. Demetri K of the Demetri K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So as you guys may or may not know, 14,000 Haitians came over to the United States via the Central American or the Southern border uh, to Texas, Del Rio, Texas, where they are all under a bridge. You know, they made different encampments and things like that. And so the Border Patrol, they're overwhelmed. And the Biden administration is like, we can't afford to keep them here. We don't have the resources. Well, so we have to send them back. Now, mind you, remember about two months ago where you the U.S. started bringing Afghans over from uh, Afghanistan because the Taliban had took over once the United States withdrew their military. And so they put the Afghans up in housing and given the resources to help sustain themselves, right? So all of a sudden, now they don't have the resources to take care of 14,000 Haitians. Okay. So they're also going to be trying to send them back. They're going to have like eight to 10 flights a week sending the uh, Haitians back. As you guys also know, the Haitians, their country has been torn up by earthquakes and the Clintons, you know, but that's a different story. So needless to say, Haiti is going through some things. And so they need some refuge. And so they came here. And so um, some of the images that you're going to see is that of the Border Patrol and Texas Rangers dealing with the Haitians in a very slave-like manner. As you can see, there are um, rangers and border patrol on horses with whips, not allowing the Haitians to go to the bridge. They're making them turn around. As you can see, a lot of them are in the water still, and they are trying to corral the Haitians as if they were corralling slaves back in 1821, not in 2021. These images are very disturbing, but we also know that the Texas Rangers Border Patrol police officers, they, police officers, they are the original slave patrol. They are the original whip crackers. The original whip crackers. That's who they are. And so, you know, they're getting nothing but sheer joy and pleasure out of doing that to black people. What an awful shame. Where's the Biden administration? And why are so all of these so-called black leaders that we've elected, why are they so silent on what's going on? Kamala, she put on her Twitter when the Afghans were coming over here, oh, we brought over 170,000 Afghans. Where are you at, Kamala? Where are your chucks and pearls when it comes to black people? Because you claim you're black, but all of a sudden you silent? What gives? Now, I want to say this to you, black people continue to vote for the Democrats. If you guys continue to vote for this for black people, shame on you. And you need to get your understanding rearranged because as you can see, the Democrats never and never will mean us any good as black people. They thumb their nose at us and they lie in our faces and they even do stuff like what they're doing now to black Haitians, treating them as if they were on the plantation when all they want to do is come over here and get help. Shame. So for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Starting your locker natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. 
Locklicious is a Black-owned company that has created an all-natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty.